Hey, it's Joe Lines in this video demonstrating using AutoHotKey with Excel. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to demonstrate how you can either connect to the running instance of Excel or um, start a new one. My typical one, which I've been using throughout a lot of my videos, this Excel handle, I'm getting a handle to the current active version of Excel, but if Excel's not running, it, it won't work, right? So we want a way to be able to say, hey, if, uh, if Excel is running, great, connect to it. If not, then go ahead and launch Excel and return a pointer to the handle. Uh, give me a handle so I can manipulate it. And in it, um, I got a couple parameters. So one is um, Excel doesn't have to be visible when you're running it. It can be um, completely hidden. It's kind of like the screen toggle, um, the screen, I'm uh, sorry, screen toggle, screen updating toggle. So screen updating will basically stop if you turn it off, it'll stop making all the updates and then you can turn it back on and, and then all of them get applied. That can greatly increase the speed of your speed of your script because it doesn't have the computers have to keep updating things. I was blown away at how much faster it was by turning off the screen updating. Well, visibility takes it one step further where you don't even have the GUI in the first place. So you can open Excel, do a lot of stuff with it and then close it without even having a visible or you can say, open it, do a bunch of stuff and then make it visible. Um, so in here, in my Excel start get function, so that's what it says, it's either I want to start it or I want to get it. Um, I'm going to start off having the visibility, I'm going to set to one, which means it's visible. If this is a zero, then it's not visible. Um, and this parameter here, let me, it's not refreshing here for some reason. Um, this is if you want to add a blank worksheet or not, uh, especially it's only for the, um, when you're starting from scratch. Um, rarely do I start Excel and not want to have a blank worksheet in there to do something with. Uh, sometimes you don't, but I thought I'd put that in here. So um, the default is it does. If you don't want it, you can change it to a zero and then it won't have one. So um, I'll, I'll set this as a one for now and I'm going to save it. Now this next one, all this is doing is it's a message box saying, hey, is this is this Excel variable that we just stored here in line seven at the beginning, is that an object? Um, and so right now I'm going to save this, reload it and run it. And it just says, hey, you know what? Um, Excel is out there. So it got a pointer to it and returned it in the Excel variable. And then I'm showing that here because now it's, it's an object I can call to it. But what if Excel wasn't running? Right. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me do this one. So let's let's do that. Let's connect to it, but let's turn the visibility off. So I'm gonna save it, reload it, run it, and watch what happens. So bam, Excel actually is no longer visible. Again, I can still manipulate and do everything I want, but it's running in the background. Um, I can bring up, I don't know if Task Manager shows it. Uh, I know um, another tool I have does. Let's see if it shows up in my Task Manager. It should. So, da, 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 da. a lot of auto hockey scripts. There it is. Um, so it's running. And um, the other thing, though, if you do make it visible, you got to make sure you, I'm sorry, invisible, you got to make sure that you close it or quit it, which I'll demonstrate that here in, in a few minutes. Uh, so actually, let's go ahead and make it back where we can see that so I can easily close it. So again, it's just going to connect to that current run. And the reason why it popped open so fast is Excel was already running, right? Normally it would take a second or so to load it. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. Um, actually, in the task manager, we can see here that Excel is no longer listed and the visibility is still set to one. It's going to add a new worksheet and, and also return back a pointer. But you'll notice here when I save it, reload it and run it. Now, since Excel is not running, it's going to create it. And then it also dumped in a worksheet. And now we're back into here with the message box. Let me show you what it looks like if we didn't have, if we turn off the adding of a new worksheet. So again, I have to close Excel. So it calls that function. Um, and now it's going to launch Excel, but notice there's just a blank thing and, and you can't actually start working with anything until you add a workbook. And for me, that's why I always want to have the default on there. And uh, I was surprised that when I loaded it, I must not, uh, hmm. Did that actually close Excel entirely? Because I thought I would have to do a, it looks like it did. Um, I guess because the script closed and it had launched it, it, it went ahead and closed it because it kicked it off. Um, but let's go back to, let's see, what I, the last one I want to do was, let's say Excel is running. And I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and still connect to it. It's visible, not going to have a worksheet. 
And then I'm going to say Excel, I think I have a function for this quit. Um, and just what do you want to pass to it? The Excel thing. Now when I reload it, run it. So now it's just saying it's an object. Now when I hit OK, it's going to quit it for me. Um, so that's the easy way that you can tell it to quit, even if it was visible or not visible. Um, the other one is, I, th I think I have a function for that as well. Close active workbook. So we pull that up. Let's say Excel. Um, you know, maybe I'll, I'll adapt this one to say close workbook and I'll, if it's, if you, if you pass a, a sheet name, it'll close it. And if not, it'll close the active workbook. So just make it a little more flexible, but let's go ahead and open this and let's go back to the stupid new versions of Excel. So much better. Yay. Um, So active workbook, but this is my playing. Um, so it's the active one. So now if I run this still again, we're gonna see this, you know, let me turn off that one. So now it's going to connect to it and then it's going to close the active workbook. So when I save it, close it, reload it, it closed the workbook, not Excel, right? That's not quitting Excel. It's closing the active workbook. And again, I'm going to change this one, not to say close, it'll say close workbook and uh, I'll make the default, um, if there's no name to be the active workbook, but hope that helps. Cheers.